What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the K Reviews Podcast. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Zartificial Intelligence by Zarface. To my right, I have once again Lucas, aka the Mechanical Advantage. Thank you. And, um. <laughs> 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 mechanical advantage <laughs> you heard me um to kick things off i have a question i'm gonna okay. ask you okay me and my supervisor have been feuding over this for the past few days we've gotten everyone at work involved okay many people have been upset by this question okay do you wipe sitting down or standing up Okay, I just want to know, why in the world would you ever wipe standing up? Okay, that's that's where you're wrong, because... Why would you stand up? That's <clears throat> disgusting. Because that literally smears the shit all over your cheeks. It doesn't, first of all. Second of all, when y you first learned to wipe, you started standing, did you not? I don't know. You did. 100% you did. Everyone learns to wipe standing up, and then somewhere along the way, we think it's it's not manly anymore. That's not and so we keep we stay sitting. That's not think about this. That's not why think about this. That's not why I think it's gross. You're sticking your hand into the toilet. No, that's to not to wipe. Did you just do this? How else are you doing it? What else are you doing? What else are you doing? Are you wiping from the front? No, pole? how else are you doing? I'm standing up. I'm doing this. No, you okay? just you lean forward and then you that's wipe. That's way from too the much. Back. That's way too much already. You're doing what a lot. You, you <laughs> You're doing a lot. There. That's too much. That's not too much. You got to stand up anyways to leave. No, you... What? To leave the bathroom? Are you standing in the bathroom all day? You're wiping and then you're staying there? Wait, so you... I can't believe you did this, first of all. I, because how else? How... You do this? That's... Either way, you're sticking your hand in the toilet. You could do this. this you're as baffling well. me right now. I'm gonna no, have to cut this out. Don't cut this out. You're this baffling me right now. <laughs> what? You're joking? No, no, no. You stand up in the comments. Don't. In the comments, <laughs> please let me know, let us know what you do. I think you're gonna be surprised at how many people do not stand up. <laughs> Someone told me, I can't say that actually, but I it it was about fifty fifty at work of people standing up to sitting down. Anyways, let's get into this album. So, it's artificial <laughs> intelligence, Zarface. <laughs> what? what? If you, you don't know who Zarface is, um, <laughs> Zarface is a rap super group, as uh, I believe is described. But it's Inspector Deck from Wu Tang Clan, and then Seven L and Esoteric, which is a rapper producer combo uh, out of Boston. And so they got together. They created this fictional character, Zarface, kind of like an MF Doom homage and then here they are sorry i didn't mean to burp in the mic hopefully i didn't burp in the mic <laughs> um yeah that's who zarface is as far as what i thought about this album uh this is like exactly what i would have wanted from them mm -hmm. um they kind of just gave me more of what i expect good beats um good rhymes and that's really all i expect from them at this point um, I, it's not one of their best albums. Like it doesn't compete with like their first two, mm -hmm. like their first two albums are super incredible. Um, but they've kind of reached this point where they're just consistently putting out like a, like good quality album after good quality album, even if they're not amazing. And I'm fine with that, man. Like I'll still listen to them every single time. Like yeah. as long as it's good beats and good rhymes, like I'm still going to check it out every time. Um, I think this is going to end up making my top 10 of the year list. Um, just because I'm kind of biased towards this group, also. So yeah, but yeah, that's that's kind of my general thoughts on it. Um, I agree for the most part with that. It's like really not a bad song on here, which is hard to do sometimes. And they <clears throat> really just kept up with their style of just rapidy raps, you know, going off, keeping consistent bars and stuff. So, yeah, I, re I really liked it. And I'm not even that big of a Zarface fan. I think the first time I listened to them was earlier this year. Um, I I had always heard the name, mm -hmm. and I just never got into it, really. But I decided to check them out, and I did... Um, um, I think I listened to the first album. 
maybe, and I thought it was good. Um, it's kind of like a style that you could just keep, keep repeating, paste, yeah. paste, and you know, repeat. Was it this copy one? and paste? Um, it might have been. This is their first one. This one's crazy. This one's my favorite. I don't them. remember. I've, I so I read a book, um, and Esoteric had contributed a lot to the book, and I was like, oh, I should check out his music. What book was it? How to rap. Oh, I didn't know he too. was. I didn't know he contributed to that. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty interesting book. I mean, it's. You told me about it, and yeah. Isaiah has told me about it too. But I didn't know Esoteric had like. Any they have a. It. They have a bunch of like rappers. That, oh, okay. But they kind of just like put in their own opinions. Like they'll go over a section and be like, "How to do triplets or something." Oh, okay. And then a rapper will come in after that and say like, "Yeah, triplets are good for this. Like I did it in this song. Check this out." Okay. Okay. Got you. Yeah. So and um. And he contri- he did he contributed a lot to that book. Like I think more than any of the other rappers in that book. Interesting. So I like I got I really got to check him out. So yeah. Um, other than that, Inspector Deck. Obviously, I knew about. Yeah. Seven uh, L. He's he's produced for someone else. Oh really? I didn't know that. I only knew him with Esoteric. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've, I've heard his production before. Um, and then. Um, Esoteric also went on uh, Tom Segura's podcast oh, okay. a few weeks ago, and that's how I knew about this album, actually. Oh, okay. I knew about it, and then you said something in the group chat, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I heard it, but um, yeah, other than that, um, what, where was I going? Oh, yeah, like I'm not the biggest Zarface fan. I've only had to listen to them one other time, mm-hmm. and from that limited perspective... Uh, this was a good album, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to go through, uh, song to song or any songs that stood out to you? Um. So, <coughs> one that stood out to me from I think first listen was Mama's Basement. Mm-hmm. Um, one obviously the you get the immediate callback and and Zarface does this a lot. They call back to old school hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, but you get the immediate callback to um. I left my wallet in El Segundo yeah. by Tribe Called Quest. So I like that and it's and like instantly that instantly caught my ear. But the thing that um I did like about this track was from the very first listen I've followed the linear storyline like where he ends up going to pick up the comics from his mom. Yeah. And like he just kind of tells that like him and his mom don't have like the greatest like uh relationship and everything like that. Um so this was a song that stuck out to me from the jump. Um just cuz esoteric Granted, I never really listened to a lot of his projects before Zarface, mm-hmm. um, but as far as Zarface goes, he doesn't get super personal ever. Mm-hmm. It's it's mostly like you were saying, like battle raps, lyrical raps. There's not really a, a whole lot of crazy concepts in all of these songs. Exactly. So it's straightforward. It's 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 mostly just rap your ass off, basically, mm-hmm. like punchlines. He has a lot of basketball wordplay, which is another reason why I really like love him mm-hmm. and love listening to Zarface. Um, so it was cool to get like a little bit more personal stuff from, from SO on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's, that's one of the songs that has a concept to this. I wouldn't say, I would say there's like two other ones maybe, or two other ones that I got, but, uh, um, something I wanted to ask. So Frankie Pulitzer, that's just esoteric, right? Or is that someone else? Um, I didn't know that. If that is Esso, I didn't know that. Because I looked him. it up, and it just said it was it was him. I've heard that when name I, before, when but I, I first never heard it. I thought it was Jay Z. So, esoteric sounds like Jay Z. That's something people yeah. say all the time. Oh, a lot. Um, I've never. I didn't think Frankie Pulitzer was Jay Z though. But I definitely, the first time I started listening to Zarface, I thought that Esoteric sounded like Jay-Z. Okay. Um, well, just that just that verse itself, when it started playing in Frenzy in a Far Off World, mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, they got Jay-Z on this? Yeah. That's crazy. But it's, and then I looked at the thing, and I was like, oh, it's this Frankie Pulitzer guy. And then I looked up Frankie Pulitzer, and not a lot came up for it, so... I thought maybe it was just esoteric, but we could talk about the logic track. What did you think about the logic track? Um, it was interesting. 
I liked it. I mean, I liked the concept of it. You know, that you got Dr. D coming in and he's like bagging on logic. I thought it was really funny. Yeah. And he was like, you're the 1-800 guy. Go and die. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just like throwing it in his face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was all right. I didn't expect the logic feature when I first heard logic. The first time I listened to this, I was like, oh, what the heck? <clears throat> yeah. Normally, they don't really have uh, much features at all. They'll do like four albums with people. Like they did the two full albums with MF Doom and they have a full album with Ghostface Killer also, which is mm -hmm. super sick. Yeah. I would check that one out too. Yeah, I saw those. But um, but yeah, they don't normally like have a bunch of features on their albums. So this was kind of, this was kind of out interesting. Out of the norm. Yeah. The cool Keith feature was cool. Keith. Yeah, he was on here twice, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. It was interesting. What did you think of um, um just the the one that was just the instrumental? Oh. Oh, that was interesting. Every time I got to that one, I always thought I was on a different album. Mm. I was like, "Oh, so I queued something else up and the album changed." Yeah. But I like it. Yeah. I, li I like just instrumentals. So they 7L has done just like instrumental Zarface tapes. Like they have Zarface albums that are released as Zarface albums, but there's mm -hmm. no raps on them. It's just the beats. Yeah, he re he released the one with Doom, right? As instrumentals. Like well, they, they do that, but yeah. I mean they have literal just instrumental yeah. albums. Like not even like that like they were never rapped over. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then like they ha he has like sample like cartoon interludes that like tell the story and then the beats like tell the story. Yeah. But um so I, I, I thought it was interesting that they just put one instrumental track on here instead of just leaving that for like another Zarface like instrumental tape because that's what they I don't know, they they put out like two or three of those already. Yeah, I like it when artists do that when they just have like a because it's kinda like a intermission. Exactly. Break, yeah. break a little bit. And it also kind of like, because they're a group mm -hmm. and it's not just, or they, they don't have a certain way of making albums. Mm -hmm. It's like they're kind of going to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. And it shows that by just putting one instrumental in the middle of it. Yeah. And it gives 7L like a chance to just be like, hey, yeah. I'm part of the group too. Yeah. Like, for him to shine. Yeah. Which is nice because producers don't get enough shine. I, w I agree. Um. Yeah, I would say uh, my favorite out of this album was "Frenzy in a Far Off World." Okay, just because I liked the way that Frankie like flowed on mm -hmm. the beat, and there was a sample. Seven L sampled Tawate. I don't know if you okay. Know yeah, is. you you've shown me him before. Yeah. Uh, so, which is kind of it, it makes sense. Also, because Tawate, the song that they sampled was for a show that was based off, like, comic books. Oh, okay. So, um, it makes sense that he would sample it because, you know, it's comic book album, comic book show. Yeah. It's kind of cool to see that they're, like... Connected. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. But also, I just love Tawate. He's such a great producer an artist um and when i heard the sample i was i was a little i was excited i was like oh yeah <laughs> it's always cool when you recognize a sample and at yeah. like just from your own memory like yeah 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 that was nice and then again frankie just i thought he was jay-z for a second that's funny yeah <laughs> um what about you you said Mama's Basement, right? It was your favorite, or that that one just stuck out to you? That's one that stuck out to me. I don't know if it was my favorite. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. A lot of these are on the same level to me. Yeah. They're just I just like I just like listening to these two guys rap, and I like Seven L's beats. So anytime yeah. they put out a new album, I, I listen to it multiple times. But. Yeah. But I never really come away being like, oh, this track is my favorite, like, from their albums. Like, usually I just, I play their album front to back every time. Yeah. So Sometimes that's good about an album, if you can't identify a favorite. I think so, too. Yeah, because it, that just means that they're so well crafted that they've kind of mastered the art of album making. Some that I did start, I starred everything... 
up to Zarsenic, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those those first few songs are really good. And then I think I starred <laughs> Sirens, <coughs> and I starred Live from Zarnie Hall also. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, m I marvel at that. I might skip occasionally. Just because I've listened to the album so many times at this point. Yeah, that's an album song. That's not a yeah. It's not a let me listen to this by by itself song. Yeah, but yeah, man, I thought this was pretty good. Um, like I said, I wouldn't put it towards the top of their discography. I still think their top five albums are um are the first two that they put out, the two with Doom, and then the one with Ghostface. I think that's their top five still. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm super impressed with the run that they're on because every album is quality. Even the instrumental ones from um, from Seven L, I've really really enjoyed. So, shout out to Zarface, man. I hope yeah. they just keep it going. And the vinyl, if if you've never bought a Zarface vinyl, do it because they they're super cool. They're like comic books, like there's stories in them. Um, so I highly recommend their vinyl. Also, yeah, the the artwork is very cool as well. And then they're, they're pretty consistent with that of how it is or how the, how the art is. <clears throat> um, I will yeah. say um, the last few outside of the one with Doom, uh, like Odds Are Against Us and Zarmageddon, those were my two least favorites mm -hmm. in their discography. Um, and I definitely like this one more than those two. Mm -hmm. So it, it was cool to see i don't want to say like a complete return to form but it was cool to see them like put out a project that like is closer to like how much i enjoy like their early stuff yeah um but that doesn't mean that like just because i like their early stuff better like i'm i'm still super impressed with the fact that they're still on this run and i hope that they keep it going because i listen to i listen to them every time yeah you know my style what do you think about that one i really like that one um nems sounded like uh oh my god what's his name Vinny Paz yeah um, I can see that and Vinny Paz was he's been featured on <clears throat> multiple other Star Face albums before okay so I wonder if maybe that was him like an alter ego for him um because he sounded a lot like him but Nims Nims is a rapper yeah okay so okay I figured I'd never heard he's, of him before he's the Bing Bong he's that guy what yeah you didn't know that no. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Uh, I mean, I, I know that meme. I didn't know that yeah, guy was a rapper. Bing bong. Yeah, I didn't That's know he. I didn't know he was a rapper. Yeah. Gorilla Nims. Yeah. He's oh, a funny guy. Okay, well, never mind. He's not Vinny Paz. I think he sounds like Vinny Paz to me. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I actually really like that track. That was one of the ones that I favorited. That whole first four song stretch, Mama's Basement. Like I, it stuck out to me from first listen. But it's not like it's one of my favorite songs like to listen to. But those mm -hmm. first four. Yeah, I, those first four are really what like keeps me coming back to the album. And then I feel like the album just flows so well together. I usually just let the whole thing play through. Yeah. Um, yeah, the first four are the best. Just some of my favorites. And I, I've never heard Nam's rap before, so that was interesting because you know you, I've seen him from the memes and always thought he was funny. But, yeah. You know now you see rapping it's like oh he's not bad at that either no so he's pretty good just a pretty talented guy i guess plugs i have a new album coming out or a new mixtape marco's been calling it an ep i've been calling it a mixtape but um 28 songs album coming out kenny moss it is not 28 songs it is 13 songs it's 40 songs it comes out december 29th um four of them are so go listen to that windpipe songs Go listen to any music I already have out. Go check out other YouTube channels. <laughs> All that good stuff. Um, I'm going to post a top 10 albums of the year video. And I'm also going to start doing discography rankings. Where I rank artist discographies. I'm probably going to do like Aesop Rock and Nas and Jay-Z. And I'm going to do I'm gonna do really any artist. And not just hip-hop artists do. I'll probably do. Like I'll probably rank Prince's 80s run. Or I'll probably rank... You know, Stevie Wonder's seventies run or something. I'm I'm gonna do ranking videos because I really want to do that. But yeah, that's all. Sorry face. Great album. Keep it keep it up. Peace.